Hey there, Touch Boards Nation. It's Anthony here again. Today, I'm going to show you a board share. That's this little guy right here. Now, if you've seen our videos before, you might be asking, they're doing another board share video? Yes. The reason is, board share is now wireless. That's right. I said wireless. Looks exactly the same as it did before. It's our little board share camera. We've got our pen. And still got the USB cable, but this now has a Bluetooth transmitter built in. So this can communicate wirelessly with your computer. And if you ask me, that was the biggest pain when it came to the board chair because it's really not placed anywhere near your computer. So you had to run a USB cable all the way back to it. In this case now, this cable is just for power. I have it plugged into a power strip over there and it's going to wirelessly connect to my computer, which is off screen somewhere over there. I'm going to show you how we set up our board chair. So the first thing we have to do is open up the board chair software. It knows because I've already set this up once that we have a board chair that's wireless and it's going to search for it. So once it finds it, we just have to let it connect. All right, so our computer has found our board chair. So now we're just going to have to hit the connect button and uh, let it do its thing. Now this window is going to pop up on screen here. It's going to ask you if your camera is ceiling mounted. We'll say no. Ask if your projector is ceiling mounted. In our case, sort of, yeah, it's mounted above the board. So we'll go with yes. And then you want more precise calibration. Yes. And then lastly, it asks if I moved the camera or the projector and yes, because the last time I used it was not today. So it has been moved. So we say yes. All you have to do is adjust your camera position so the dot is within the red circle. Now we're going to take our pen and we're going to tap on the center of the crosshairs. Right here it says move the camera backward two feet. All I really have to do is, in this case, just slide this table back. And then we're going to reposition our camera so the laser dot is within the crosshairs. Touch your pen, you have mouse control. There you go. We can open and close programs. We can use the board chair software to draw, which I will show you here. We can select the pen, and now we can just draw all over our computer screen, like so. So what just happened? Now, the board chair did not fail in the middle of me giving you this demo. This is actually very important, something I want all of you to know about the board chair. It's not a problem, just something that I did wrong. There's this. LED in the pen. This is the tip. This is what you're going to touch to the board. Like so. This LED here emits infrared light. We can't see it, but that little board chair camera back there can. And it uses that spot of light to track your movement. And that translates to your computer screen moving the mouse cursor around. So what this means is the board chair camera has to see this pen and it will work just fine as long as it can see it until you get in the way. So that's just something to remember. The board chair can't see through you. The board chair BC8000 is a really affordable, great little system to get you a fully interactive whiteboard. If you already have a whiteboard or you have a TV screen, you can make it interactive for a lot less than a lot of other systems out there. And what board chair has done with the new version is eliminate one of the biggest issues that people have had, which was the USB cable. So now wherever your board chair camera is going, like over there in our case, I just take that USB and plug it in for power. I don't have to have it run back to my computer. And that's where the new Bluetooth version really shines. So check it out. We'll answer any questions that you have. 